GoVenRolls.com here with part five of our summer interview series. Today we're joined by men's basketball coach Ralph Turner. Coach, how was your 4th of July weekend? Exciting, exciting from beginning to end. We like to hear. Now, big news off of that 4th of July weekend, Kevin Durant signing with the Warriors. No, that's NBA basketball. But what do you think of these super teams that seem to be popping up now in the NBA? Well, obviously, you have to play the games. Everybody thought Golden State, after their season, was going to roll to the championship and lost more games in the playoff than they did during the whole season. So uh, it doesn't matter. Miami Heat did not win the championship every year. They had the big three. Uh, it's a team game. And uh, sometimes the hardest thing to do is put three or four superstars together or five superstars together and, and make it all work and make the pieces work. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not one of those who's critical of uh, KD for what he did. I think what he did, if that was best for his family and he was in a position to do it, then why not go for it and do that? I, I hate it for uh, OKC, but maybe what if he could win a championship or two with Golden State didn't finish up with OKC. So Absolutely. It's going to be an exciting year for the NBA, but – Shifting gears is hopefully going to be an exciting year here at CSU Pueblo, too. I'm excited about your offseason and the uh, players that you have coming in. Well, I'm really excited about that girls' team returning most of their players. And uh, that's really what I'm most excited about. But the best news for the men's program is we got Nelson Collier back. Uh, when you think about it, that uh, he was not going to be with us. And the NCAA 2A ruled against us on the first appeal, and he appealed again in a different area and got that appeal through. And that's probably been the best news for our team. So uh, we're cautiously optimistic. So, and obviously, Nelson had a fantastic year last year. Um, so talk about his impact on the team. Well, first thing is he's growing as a player. I, I sincerely hope he'll be better than he was last year, more consistent. I thought that uh, he's never really been one of the players who was a big scorer. At uh, Eastern Wyoming, where he played in junior college, he averaged about eight points a game. And for us, he gets the ball a little bit more, and I think he developed his game. And uh, what he does best, obviously, is block shots. He led our league in block shots. I think he's a, a, a great centerpiece to build around. But on our team, he's not the only important piece coming back. But I, I am very excited for him to come back and get a chance to further develop because I think he has a chance to have an exceptional year. Certainly does. It was a blast to watch him last year. And switching gears a little bit as well, let's find out a little bit more about Ralph Turner, the man behind the bench. What do you like to do during your summers when you know things are a little bit more relaxed here on college campuses? Mostly I like to visit with other coaches and get ideas. I like to uh, visit with coaches on the hall, find out what they're doing for the summer, and just try to encourage them in what they do. I read a lot. That's probably my number one thing that I do personally. I used to play golf a bunch, but I think those days have passed me by. Played 100 rounds of golf one summer. That was a good summer. Uh, but now I read mostly. I, so I read and I do watch a little bit of uh, TV. I do like Netflix a little bit. I'm a movie guy. Uh, but mostly I read and try to make myself learn something and kind of keep growing. What show are you binge watching on Netflix right now? Well, now, I have a number that I binge watch. I've, I've been watching Criminal Minds. I love Criminal Minds. They just put their new episodes up. It's been unbelievable. I liked NCIS. I think that's it. I've never watched it when it was on, but I watched all the 11 seasons uh, or what's on. Anyway, I've watched all of that. Uh, I like, if you don't like Mark Harmon, there's something wrong with you. So, you know, I want to pop you in the back of the head right now <laughs> as we talk. Just because I like him so much. Uh, but really, that's about it. I'm not interested at all in the political s stuff going on right now. I have no interest in it. Uh, I find that really what I care about most is the people I have with dealings with every day of my life. Well said there. I'm a big criminal minds guy myself. So that. What's your favorite movie? Oh, listen. You're, you're talking to a guy who's seen thousands of movies, some of them as many as 60 times. So you'd have to go to genre with me if you're going to say... Best movie of all time. The series might be Godfather. I just watched the Harry Potter series over again, all of them. I've watched Lord of the Rings series over again. Uh, if you're talking about gangster movies, it, American Gangster with Denzel. I watch, I go with characters for a while. I might watch every movie Tom Hanks made. I might watch every movie with Tom, uh, with, uh, Tom Cruise in it. I might watch Denzel movies. But I go with actors for a while. I, I, I go with 
genres for a while. Uh, I, I'm not a I'm not a big romantic comedy guy. I'm more of an action guy. I love The Rock because uh, I think he's the funniest guy alive, and he doesn't take himself too serious. Uh, but I, but I love movies, and really that's my wind down. It used to be that I would coach a game, come home, watch the game, and then put the movie in sometime around one o'clock. I've seen Jeremiah Johnson almost sixty or seventy times. I can probably say every word in the movie. There's so few words in it if you don't know anything about Jeremiah Johnson. It's sort of a rev- revelant uh, remake kind of. Uh, but I but I love movies. How about you? What movies you been watching? Ooh. No question. I wasn't expecting that to come back on me. Um, let's see. Uh, speaking of Denzel, I saw that one Inside Man on Netflix. That's a really good one. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's, the last movie you went to a theater so. Ooh, that's a tough question. Hmm. Obviously, it was a really what we're good. We're exposing one, here is no date life for my man. <laughs> so those of you women out there, let's make sure we get in touch with my man. If you're single and want to <laughs> mingle, here he is. <laughs> uh, Last movie I saw, by the way, was Hunger Games, the final episode. Loved it. I think mine was uh, Star Wars, probably back in December. So I think that might have been it. Right? Yeah, I think that So. But any event, Coach, uh, any final thoughts from you on the summer? Uh, I'm really looking forward to having uh, the guys back and getting started. We lost uh, – our program took a big hit this summer in that we lost uh, Tommy Johnson. He left to take a job at, in New Mexico, and uh, we're going to greatly miss him. He's been my best friend here at, at CSU Pueblo and been a great recruiter, and he's a great basketball coach and got a great mind. I hope that it – this new opportunity brings him to a head coaching position that he richly deserves. Uh, I was able to hire a really exciting young coach in Jed Canoffel who played for me here, and I think it's a self-made player, so we're really excited about that. So that's something new and, and hopping here. So we're excited about getting the guys in for the fall. We've got some new guys coming that I really like. They're going to be important to what we're doing. Uh, we're not finished yet. Got a 16 kid looking to visit. Uh, next week or so, so it's it's full steam ahead. We're just getting ready for summer recruiting for the rest of the month. But uh, all in all, man, it's it's just great to be alive. The only place better than CSU Pueblo is heaven. Isn't that right, boys? Couldn't have said it any better. Thanks for taking the time to chat with us this week, Coach. Thank you, my friend.